Hello, welcome to this lesson on uh, Linear Free. In this lesson, you will learn Object Identification Center and how to use Object Identification Center to spy the objects and generate the code at runtime. So, let us start. To start the Linear Free engine, go to the All Apps in Windows 10 system or go to the Start menu in Windows 7 and then you will find this HP software over there and then there will be one option called as object identification center just click on that and it will open the object identification center and I'm gonna explain you how you can spy the objects using this object identification center before that let me explain you the layout of this window uh, this object identification center here is the uh, you can select the mode like uh, uh, we, ha we are in uh, normal mode right now but you can switch to the edit mode in which you can change the properties of the object and uh, here are the settings or here you can uh, change the theme of your object identification center like selecting these buttons and in simple mode add a page objects to the application model so if you want to add the page objects uh, to the application model you can select this checkbox then uh, in which language you want to generate the code for that you have to select this language so right now I have selected Java so if I create or generate the code it will be generated in Java syntax and this setting is for uh, keep on top file spying that means fair you want to uh, display this window object and if center window so this is all about the settings now let me explain you how you can uh, st start the inspection of the uh, objects for that what you have to do is you have to click on this start spying button and as soon as you uh, press on this button press the control key hold down the control key and uh, when you are on the application that you want to spy just release your control key then this hand icon will come and then you have to click mouse click and then it will display the properties of those objects so as you can see the class of this particular object or uh, window is standard win dot window this is the class of this particular object and it is also showing the recommended properties so these are the properties of this object and these are the values of that object these are the recommended properties and values but if you want to view all the properties and the objects uh, values of those properties you can click on this name tab or the link so here it is showing all the properties and their values and uh, this star means that these are recommended properties so if you click on recommended you will notice that this only these uh, recommended properties are shown at the top so uh, that should be used while uh, creating the automation or driving the automation or identify the ob uh, to identify the uh, that object these properties are recommended to be used another thing uh, to notice that it is also using index so this is the zeroth index it is using to identify that object and this one is for highlighting the object so if you click on that that ob application uh, will be highlighted or the object that uh, you have selected will be highlighted then this one is to generate the code uh, to the clipboard so if you click on this one code is generated and it is uh, copied to the clipboard so you can just paste it like this one so this code is uh, generated automatically by this object identification center so desktop dot describe so this is used to describe the window object this notepad object and then dot build is used to build that object that means it actually instantiates or creates that object and it is using these properties to identify that particular object and uh, finally we have got this uh, capture object image button which actually uh, captures the image of this application and you can save that uh, as well so I'm gonna just override that and if you open that particular object or image it will display the image of that object as you can see it has taken the screenshot of that particular object so apart from that uh, yeah finally I'm gonna explain you this edit mode so how to use that edit mode so just click on that uh, edit mode button and then this cross sign will appear on this this pen button it means that we are now right now in the edit mode and in the edit mode what you can do is you can edit the values of the properties for example you want to change this properties value you can select this checkbox in front of that property and then edit this property like that and now if you, if you highlight this 
application it will not be able to identify that object because this value is not matching so as you can see it is saying that adjust the selected properties or values of the test object or its parent that's how you can change the properties and if you want to make it a regular expression you can click on this star button and then press dot star or whatever regular expression is uh, you want to use and then you can uh, click on this particular highlight button this time it should identify the object as you can see it has identified the window so this is pretty much the uh, uh, comprehensive information about this object identification center in which we have seen like how to uh, launch the object identification center then what are the modes normal mode and edit mode then settings of this particular object identification center then we have also seen like how to highlight the object how to generate the code in different different languages how to take the uh, screenshot of the object and also how to spy the objects obviously so that's all about uh, this lesson object identification center thank you hi friends if you find this video useful please hit like button and for more videos please subscribe to my channel and also visit www.softforce.org for more tutorials and updated videos thanks for watching my video